take off at 15. Your race time won't start till you pass them. All right, Good finally luck. back Thank racing. You. I haven't raced since the CFC race on August 9th in Tennessee when I forgot to put the battery in my camera. But I remembered the batteries today and I'm at the Southern Enduro Riders Association Round 6 near Meridian, Mississippi. This is the start of Loop 1 Test 1 and it's go time. This is a sprint enduro format which is different from a hair scramble. In this sprint enduro there are two tests. The test is just a designated course and in this case each test is about 7 miles long. We'll complete three loops on each test for a total of six time sections. Each rider gets assigned a row number and there are four riders per row. One row leaves the start every minute and there are 15 seconds between each rider on the row. This is essentially a race against the clock as opposed to a hair scramble where everyone lines up by class and races to the finish. This is the key time sheet which tells you the exact time each test will start. For example, if you're on row one, loop one, test one starts at 9 a.m. I'm on row 50, so my row starts at 9.50. I like to add up the times for my row and write them on my key time sheet so I don't have to do math between tests. Who knew math was necessary for racing a dirt bike? The weather started out cloudy with mild temps in the 70s and got up to the mid 80s by the end of the day. This area got a lot of rain from Hurricane Sally a few days before the race. The course is in pretty good shape, but there are some muddy areas and the route's really slick in this first test. This is my first race with my new GoPro Hero 9 Black with Hypersmooth 3.0. I did three loops with this camera and three loops with my GoPro Hero 8 Black, so I'll be able to make some comparison between the two cameras. That's Mike Coleman in front of me there. Mike was on row 50 with me and we had several conversations throughout the day before the start of each test. Super nice guy. He let me get around him right here. Thank you, Mike. And there goes Cade Copeland. He's in the B-Light class and he's moving on. And there goes Jacob Julian. He's an A open class guy. And there goes Colby Yarborough. He's a double A racer and he finished second overall for the day. Nice job, Colby. I hope I did a good job getting out of your way throughout the day. I completed loop one, test one with a time of 26 minutes 41 seconds, which was the third best time in the C40 plus class after that section. I got about a 10 minute break and it's time for loop one test two. This test has fewer hills and more open fields than test one. Speaking of tests, there's also an allergy test included for free with this race. The course snakes through this field of ragweed, so you'll definitely know if you have allergies when you emerge on the other side. Actually, I don't know if this is ragweed or not, but that's what was going through my head at the time. about two-thirds of the way through this test when I catch up to Charles Parker. Come on, Charles! Let's go, Charles! That's Charles in the background of this photo. Anyway, Charles is a legend. He's done about every kind of motorsports racing there is. He's also an inventor, a fabricator, and he's an expert at imitating motorcycle sounds. <laughs> he's a little shy, but if you see him in a race, ask him about his WR250F and he might talk to you. Remember those slick groups I was telling you about? Found one. I'm trying to get better at picking up the bike and getting moving again in these situations. I felt pretty good with that effort. I only lost about five or six seconds before I was moving again. 
I completed loop one test two with a time of 27 minutes 13 seconds and I've dropped into fourth place in my class. Loop two test one was pretty uneventful and I finished that test in 27 minutes and 41 seconds. We're on to loop two test two and I've switched over to the GoPro Hero 8 black so we can do some comparisons. I'll put the video side by side with the Hero 9 footage from the previous loop on the right. The cloud cover is broken up a little bit so the lighting is a little different for the GoPro 8 video but the Hero 9 stabilization is supposed to be even better than the 8 and the 8 stabilization is outstanding. Both cameras are recording in 4K, 30 frames per second in super view mode with hyper smooth on. Honestly, I'm having a hard time distinguishing a lot of difference between the two in terms of video quality and stabilization. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and whether or not you can tell a difference. The Hero 8 Black is a great camera and I'll still be using it quite a bit. My Moto Vlog mic setup depends on the Hero 8 with a media mod, so I'll continue using it for that purpose rather than buying a separate media mod for the Hero 9. I do like that the Hero 9 once again has the uh, replaceable lens and the increased battery capacity is a big win in my opinion. I always try to get the highest quality video I can, but ultimately telling the story is more important. You can upload the highest quality video in the world with no story and no explanation and no one's going to watch it, at least not for very long. So I try to have a good balance of high quality video along with telling the story. And if you're still watching six minutes in, that means I'm doing okay so far. By the way, the code word is energy. Leave a comment with energy in it and let me know you made it this far in the video. Energy is something you need a lot of to get through a race like this, but occasionally in these races a tree will jump out in front of a rider, but it's rare that you get it on camera. That's Brian Sullivan. He's in the B45 plus class and I hope he has a good sense of humor. We've all done it. That wraps up loop two test two and I finished that test in 28 minutes, 19 seconds. You can tell some fatigue is setting in with my times increasing a little bit. These Enduros really are a test of endurance. By this time in the race, I've got almost two hours of race time in with two more tests to go. The last two tests were relatively uneventful with a time of 28 minutes, 24 seconds in loop three test one and 28 minutes, 50 seconds in loop three test two. I finished fourth out of 16 in my class with Jesse Harrell taking the win for the C40 plus class. Congrats, Jesse. Next up is second round six at Miller Creek in Pontotoc, Mississippi. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos and hit that like button if you enjoy these race recaps. Thanks for watching.